Welcome back to the channel everybody. Here's some nice drone footage I got of the surrounding area where we moored. Also we failed to mention in the intro but Dad puts up his first bird box here. Yeah. He's got it on that side. Whoa! Fucking hell, I thought it was going to fall in the canal then, for some reason. Someone will make good use of that. It's a lovely... Welcome. Yeah, well, my pen ran... My pen, I'm going to have to buy some more pen markers. But it's a nice spot here, see, because it's well guarded and it's thorny, the bushes, yeah. and the hedge will grow around the box. So I looked at it earlier, she fired it up. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, I've got to get my coat on. Hiya! It's um, <sighs> been a couple of glorious days, isn't it? Oh, yesterday. oh yeah, we've done a live... Um, Lime fishing stream last Lime night. Fishing stream. Live fishing stream last night, and it went really well. Andy caught three perch, didn't you? Four in the end. Four in the end, because when you went off, we caught another one. Yes, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, but the next few days and week, I think, are going to be set to be really nice weather, mm. including today. So it's good. Um, first little mini heat wave of the year. Well, yeah. Heat wave yet. Well, it's. As you can see, it's uh, about eight o'clock in the morning. Yes, it's, so it's very quite, early. It's quite cold at the Since moment. We're going through Bratch Lock today. Yeah. Pillar to <coughs> destination, and it's a Saturday, so. And it's a, and it's a, sta it's a we haven't done a staircase lock for ages mm. and ages, so it's a bit com looking competent, bit yeah. com complicated. So we don't want to look silly. No. <laughs> so but we're giving it, it a go. It's been one of the busiest spots we've ever known. Oh, yeah. The towpath has been absolutely. And and really the thing is, busy. when people, can are you in, Andy? Mm. When people like jog by, it's like thud, 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 like half six this morning. I had a you really can't bad. Beat them. We tried to get up early oh. to try and you get a clay beat bank. Them, the whole still... bank um, echoes and bangs. And, and we've even eggs. like, we've got a fisherman. You yeah, know where we, was, where right we were sat last night? Where we were sat last night doing the live long, which is about six foot away from the boat? We've got a fisherman sat there. I think got, he's been there since about seven. Yeah, all you got all the canal and he sits in front of Bob. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Never mind. So we're moving off because I know why this is so busy because it's a circular route. <sighs> People take the railway and then they come back on the canal or vice versa. Yeah. The railway is just over there. Me and Mum did that yesterday. We walked into Wombourne to get down yeah. the prescription, didn't we? Yeah, because well, they forgot one of his yeah. um, medications. But we so. went there and uh, we ordered it. We went shopping and co-op. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we came back and it was shut for one o'clock. And the lady, the lady said, "I'll come back in ten minutes." Mm. So I went back in ten minutes. So I had to knock on the door, and this yeah. this really snooty woman said, "Who? Oh, well, we're shut." And I said, "Oh well, I, well, we're doing a circular walk." I said, "I'm not coming back." I said, "Can I pick up my husband's through the door?" This is shouting. What's the name? And then she came to the door, hand, to, and and she said, "Do you have to pay?" I said, "No." And she said, "Um." She said, well, the pharmacist has to have a have, have a lunch. I thought, oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm upset. Luckily she gave, us, yeah. Luckily she gave yeah. it to us. Otherwise, we'd have to wait about an hour, wouldn't we, for it. That's the trouble. Hiya. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and yes, there has been Whoa. a lot of that. Dogs off the lead. <laughs> Attacking our cats, um, as usual. So about yeah. four or five dogs attacked our cats yesterday. Well, Nearly all of them off the lead. It's to people Toby. Leads. Toby mind no own business. We take the window out, mm. and it, we, he's got his bed on top of the microwave. Cool. So he sits there, minding his own business, and he's getting attacked. Yeah. While he's sat in the boat. So <laughs> we're going to move off. Um, Sorry, we we're always moaning today. about dogs, aren't we? But never mind. Yeah, <laughs> well, we do love them, really. But rightly so. <laughs> um, we're going to get Aww. some water today at Greens Forge. Um, it's, yeah. quite, it's, mm, it's about three miles away, I think. But yeah. it's about nine locks, including Bratch Locks. What boat's that, Bratch end? Locks is open. Yeah. Dave, there. Is that All right, guys, oh, yeah. enjoy the cruise. Yeah, enjoy!
Now, I was initially very worried about bratch locks because it is a bit harder because it's a triple lock staircase which means it's a whole lot more complicated than your regular locks but as someone's come down before us and the lock is against us as per usual the first thing we do is simply fill up the first lock so we can get the boat in if you're working this like a regular lock you would open these panels now and you would go down but first of all we have to go down to the middle lock and open the green panels and make sure the gate is shut. Now that the blue panels are open and the gate is closed, we open the red panels on the top lock, letting the water down. All the excess water goes off into the side pounds. And then we open the gate and close the blue panels. When we're in the middle lock, all we do is just repeat the process we just did. Now we're in the bottom lock, it's just as simple as a normal lock. Ah, oh, we're through guys. <gasps> oh, sigh of relief. Didn't even think it'd be open, did you? No, I'll take my hat off, take my gloves off. Oh. Um, it's nice and warm. One of the first people to use bretch locks. Were. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. Well, it went well, according to plan. One person came up yeah, behind, just behind us. Yeah, behind us, so we left right at the, uh, just at the right time. Yeah. No one's mm. coming up. Um, but yeah, we did have a slight bit of worry when we first started to come down into the second, more middle lock. Um, but what are we doing? Are we doing it right? And Because uh, it seemed a bit weird opening the blue paddles on that weird third lock gate. It's so weird because you've got like a gate in between. It's, it's really I know what it does. Well, I think there's two purposes. Yeah, one. Well, yeah, one purpose is to let all that uh, water from the top lock go into the side pounds. Yeah. Um, and some of it goes into the next lock, but that's okay as long as all of it then go in the next lock. The overflow. You've got overflow. It's like at Foxton Lock, so they've got the yeah. overflow it goes off. Yeah, it and just then, allows other boats to come down. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise it's just one boat like at a time. Like a waterfall. Comes yeah, down. it's like a waterfall. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. But we were... wonder why the, the... Going into the second lock, the gate kept open and I said, I'll shut it. And then as yeah. we were opening the paddles at the top, the gate was opening at mm. the bottom. But and then it's not until I went down there and saw this <laughs> chain on the floor. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it's for. There's a chain. There's a chain to clip it yeah. there back. So it's like so it's sharp. But yeah, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. No. So success. We're through Womborn now, aren't we? Yeah, Womborn. Yeah, Womborn. Dad's got some information about Womborn, haven't you? You got some information about Womborn? Oh yeah, I read up on about it. It means Womborn loosely translated in old English, um, a stream or a brook running through um, a village or a town. But it's been here, right? <laughs> It boasts to be the largest village in England. Mm. I don't know what count, counts as a town though. How does it become a town? Uh, I don't know, but anyway, it's still got a village green which used to have a manor on it years and years and years ago. But it has one brook that runs to the right side of the village. Eventually goes, it's part of the catchment for the River Severn, believe it or not. So the water from this area will end up into the River Severn. Um, but also the river, the, the one brook passes underneath this canal Somewhere. and the ironworks there's three mills on one brook they had to dam it up to get more head more power but there's three um, mills that uh, you can still see the remains of two of which were ironworks and the iron used to be transported on this canal from this area and one was um, for cleaning wool fabrics mm. water from one brook 
so at one point it was quite polluted um, and they found an arrowhead from the Iron Age in about, I think it was 1942 they found it in Wombourne, so it's been here a long time. Mm. But and back in the Doomsday book, <laughs> it was worth £3 Wombourne, and it was owned by one man, and it had eight residents and hundreds of pigs, because it was a pigging area, yeah. lots of pigs, so you'll see streets and hills named Pig Hill or Pig Road. Yeah. What? No, yeah. do you know what? I think it's where the Wombles live. <laughs> anyway, that's a bit about Wombourne. Anyway, I had to look it up because it's such to an unusual name. Bumble, Bumblehole Lock. Bum? Look up that name. Yeah, yeah I might lock. look up Bumhole Lock. It's Bumble. Bum oh, it's Fox Bumble. The float said it was Bumhole Lock. It's weird because it's Bumblehole <laughs> Lock, and they've got on the lock keeper's cottage. They've got bees, yeah. so they've got bumblebees. So the next lock, guys. Yeah. The ironic thing about Bumblehole Lock is the cottage here actually has bumblebees. builds generally look like the 3D renders you see before they're built. The woman in this boat here popped her head out and said, oh, I noticed your Devon flag, we come from Devon too. And look, she's also got a Devon flag. Alright, we're just going to take a quick pit stop here because to our right is a big Sainsbury's where Dad needs to get himself some coke. We're back. Um, Josh just we had to stop off at uh, Sainsbury's, guys, uh, because Dad's got an addiction, an addiction to coke. No, I just like a cold drink when it's hot. Even though me and Mum are going shopping tomorrow, you can't wait one day. What? There's nothing in. There's no squash, there's no coke, nothing, Josh. Drink water then. Look. Or tea. Or milk. We're stuck You're warming up again? Or? No, I'm trying to get off, darling. Dad's fault. Well, it's not my fault, it's <laughs> the wind. I did reverse. The wind's, you've got mud here and the wind's blowing us back. I'll lean over this side, try and get it off the mud. Go back. Well, it depends. The wind might blow you back in again. So we'll stuck in again. Get it off. We'll be back in a minute. Oh, she's flicked myself in the face with the bow. So we're back. <laughs> Jesus, mud bank. Cut off it eventually. Jesus um, Christ. It's yeah. a mud bank and wind. 
I don't think we should have stay, stopped the Saints, please, guys. <laughs> I think they should just dredge the canal a little bit now and again, so you can stop off at Sainsbury's. <laughs> this is what this is here, probably. This looks like a dredger. Yeah, it's a right in the middle of what doing here. Now we've got to go into the shallow bit. Oh, he is a dredger, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. It looks well, anyway, um, Bretch Locks was brilliant, uh, all new and everything. Then we got to Bumble Hole Lock, and. Uh, yeah, the oh, gates weren't no. in good condition, were they? So I think that'll be next year's job. Do you not drink wine? Oh, it's because it's, it's the Nemo Cup. It's because it's the Nemo Cup. So I always have the Nemo Cup. Oh my God. <laughs> it didn't even have a date on it, did it, George? No. Very, very old, I think. Yeah. Boat came through on it, and I saw a boat called Hang Loose. I thought I'd seen that before. And then someone messaged me on Instagram when those two went to Sainsbury's. They said, I think you went by. I said, oh, what boat were you on? Hang loose. <laughs> this and is all new. Guess what his name is? Dunno. Hang loose. Loose? Is that is that really someone's name? Oh I don't know. Hang? <laughs> Paul! Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Another Paul. This is what they've been doing. New wood by Paul the and Steve's. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's all. Yeah. We always meet a lot of Pauls and Steves. Don't know whether it's like the era of my sort of age. Yeah. Like, but yeah, they're always sort of that name. Look at that! Looks like a hanger of some description. It's massive. But yeah, we had to stop at Sainsbury's. Dad needs some coke. Oh, he needed his coke fix. I don't mean. I, that's I don't mean that. I mean, <laughs> drink. Yeah, it's the only supermarket in Wombourne, even though it's. Huge. So we need to go Audi's, but we have to drive out the way to get Audi's. Anyway, um, yeah, we're heading to Boffham Staircase Locks now. Uh, two two locks in a staircase formation. And, uh, there's two of them, so it shouldn't be as complicated as a branch. The boat that was behind us passed us as well. Yeah. Certainly not on takeover. No, I think he, the guy that was at Bratch Locks, he was on holiday. He's got yeah. two week holiday. Well, I think he's been waiting for it to open. Oh, Onwards then. Yeah, nice side. This is a much simpler staircase lock because it's only two locks and there's a simple principle with staircases with two locks. All you do is you make sure the top lock is filled and the bottom one is empty. But once you start emptying your top lock into your bottom lock, make sure your paddles are closed.
We, uh, we've come through Rovingham Staircase Lock, 20 foot and 3 inches. Then we just came through um, Marsh Lock, 9 foot 9. And um, Swindon Lock, 9 foot, haven't we? I'm having a little, yeah, I'm having a little practice. To, uh, your dad done mm. the first few, didn't you, Andy? Yeah. Well, I'm having a little practice again. Mm. Oh, lovely, lovely day. Oh, absolutely um, beautiful day. Yeah, just come through Little Swindon, I'm going to call it because it is Little Swindon. <laughs> two Swindons, and this one's a smaller one, so it's Little Swindon. Um, it's, not the, it's not the other Swindon. No. But yeah, we, uh, we've got uh, one more lock to do um, Hinsford Lock, and then um, we're going to moor up at Greens Forge, where the water point is. Should be dancing. <laughs> You should be dancing, and hopefully we're going to pump into their necessities. Yeah, because they said to us yeah. that's where they are on the live stream. And, Chris and Pauline. Um, we don't want to spoil it, but we're going there today. <laughs> um, so we might see them dancing. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. <laughs> um, we've lost another Marabit YouTuber. We haven't, but he's leaving the canals, cruising oh. the cut. It's been an honour. <laughs> I know, cruising um, the car. Within the same week, we've lost the two biggest uh, narrow YouTubers. David. They don't oh. live on the canal anymore. He was brilliant. Yeah. When he's he was doing his alternator, you absolute pig. <laughs> and yeah. he had his he's lovely slippers on. He's quite a character, guys. And we only found out, well, we found out from Sue E from Narrowboat Holly yeah. last night he's, on live stream. He's still doing canal video, videos and the history of canals. But he he's just uh, moving back into a house. Yeah. Yeah. Which so, is a real surprise. But you've got sick of uh, cruising, uh, lone cruising, I don't blame him. I think it's, it's really lonely. hard work, well, you know, I don't know how narrow but Will does it's it. Quite, it's lonely though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why he didn't get himself a girlfriend. I don't know, he says he enjoys it going out with friends and things, yeah. doesn't he? But he likes the company, like, he did it a lot with Minimal List, and he loves going out with Minimal List and London Girl. Mm. Loves it, London like Girl. going down the town. Laura's and narrow boat, I think. Well, I think he'd rather Lauren just Ventures. sit on the front and let someone else do it now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, about a mile more to go and one more lock and then we'll oh, be there. Oh, wind on the side here. Yeah, it's very windy for some reason. Dad's not very used to doing the locks, he's just left his paddle up.
because if they want to bought those people, they wouldn't be able to go through it, would they? Because the Canal River Trust boat's there. And a water point. Yeah. Weird. Well, um, we're at Green's Forge now, green. guys. Oh, it's really, really busy on yeah. this. It's just private moorings, I think, here. We thought there was going to be a uh, visitor moorings, but there's not. It's just all private moorings, yeah? yeah. So, unfortunately, we have to go through another lock. But we filled up on water, got rid of our rubbish. Um, yeah, we thought we had a problem with the water pump. Yeah. I put a wash, I, I only put about 75 litres in the tank I think tank the last washing night. machine completely dried it out. And I, don't, we, I said, oh, I'll have enough, I should have enough to do a wash then. And I think it must have, um, yeah, get it too too low because... You're coming on. As I was, yeah. as I was putting, as I was filling my bottles up, because I got spare like two litre and five litre bottles in the boat just in case, like to use in the kettle. As I was filling, it goes like, yeah, spit, spitting and and then it stopped completely when Andy had all completely filled the tank up. But it's I think we've cleared the airlock. I think it's the airlock or something, wasn't it? I just think we should have done the washing when we had water because <laughs> we nearly dried the pump out completely and burnt the pump out, which is under an old quid. Washing again. But um, yeah, we got in. There's no movement. We can't go to the lock. It's still really, really busy on the tow path. I cannot believe how busy it is. Yeah. Um, saying that, no one's going to run I know, it takes us it takes us to a six mile walk or a six mile cycle yeah, ride so tomorrow. We're going to cruise to the, the next lock. But just as we finish our water, a boat comes along. <laughs> just as we were going to go off. We're going now, I think. It will always happen. Go off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're right, doing. So I don't know what they're doing up there. So we're gonna as soon as they've gone through, because there's not enough um, lock landing, because there's CRT boats mm. on the lock landings, there's not enough lock they're landing. From, for they're two. all from Bratch Locks. They've got the old Bratch Locks. And they're just I don't know what they're doing right now. Well we're gonna go forward in a minute, so they better hurry up. Yeah. Dad is really not sure what happened here, but he said he couldn't turn. He just couldn't turn the boat. So something must have got caught around the prop or we don't know, but he end up hitting a couple of CRT boats. Here is Ashwood Marina and we have been here before and I should have vlogged it. We went here to see a boat called Gerald and um, it was about 75 grand which was a bit too much for a boat and they wanted a deposit of about 10 grand which we couldn't give. But it's nice to actually finally come here. The marina itself was actually an old arm and it went to old tramways and then the tramways joined up to canals in the Birmingham network. Here's the lovely John's Gardens on our left here, which is only open on Saturdays.
So we are moored up. Am I in? Finally. It? Am I in? Yes. Yeah. Um, oh we'll in God! Absolutely. This is spotter. <laughs> absolutely beautiful here. Oh. Yeah. We're just through Rocky Lock. Um, two locks extra do, today. Do, it's Eleven do, locks. Do. Yeah. Do. Oh, oh, the tiger! Just taking him <laughs> right back to Luke when he was bodybuilding. <laughs> this has been a, quite a long cruise today, one of our longest in a while. Crikey, we've been. Mm. What time do we leave? Like eight. Quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. eight yeah. What's the that time quarter now? Quarter past half eight. Two. What's the time? Half two. Is it? Yeah. Crikey! Yeah. But we're not looking forward well, to we the. We wanted to get south. Well, we stopped so. for water as well. Me and Josh have to walk back and get the car tomorrow. Yeah. I think it's about six, maybe six and a half miles now. So, so we might have like to I thought Toby Hurt is back. Well, we thought we'd cycle, but the trouble is, it's a Sunday and it's going to be the. It's going to be really yeah, busy. it's going to be yeah. really busy. But we can't wait till Monday because that's when Dad's going. The car park is just down there at the next lock. Um, but it's a beautiful morning here. Got plenty of solar. Yeah, hopefully they're going to slow they'll down because Toby's in the yeah. in the middle of the track again. It's going in the <laughs> hedge now. He's disappearing into the field. Yeah, we're going to be here for about four days, aren't we? Yes, we're going to be here till at least well th Friday. Five days. Yeah, because yeah, Dad don't finish till half three, four o'clock on the Thursday. Mm, of course, six days maybe. So we won't be back to what are we today? Saturday. We'll be here a week, guys. Yeah. Jesus. But it is beautiful. You can move, and then I meet you at another spot. Yeah. I, I can't loan cruise. If I, if I'm Mom's here, not I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going yet, guys, because the thing is, I've got nowhere to stay. Can't really stay. I don't want. I don't want to stay with Andy in his his room if if he's going to get in trouble, mm. you know. I mean, he lose a job before he even gets it. And there's no. I've thought about booking a room there, but there's no vacancies. Uh, jo Luke, Luke, Emily, no, sorry, Luke, Libby, Luke, and Libby Roz, and George all have COVID, yeah. so I can't go there. They're only 45 minutes away. But I'll get just. God's sake, not Josh. Luke is going to let me know tomorrow. They're all going to do a test Can tomorrow. Mm. So if they're clear, I might go and stay with Luke. Yeah. Like I was originally going to do. And I'll be here by myself. Um, the next water point is only about a mile away though. So time we get back, we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be okay. Uh, we'll fill up with water, got with the rubbish, mm. haven't we? Hopefully there's going to be some footpaths around here I can walk on for my daily exercise. Um, but oh, yeah. There's a shelter down here from that wind. You can hear it up in the trees, but we've got a bank over there. We absolutely love this canal. It's, it's one of our favourites. Yeah, really, really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, the really architecture nice. and the, the views and yeah, stuff. It's weird because it doesn't actually get really urban. You you yeah. kiss a couple of houses and a couple of little housing estates, but that's it. The, the only locks, problem locks we have are a little bit different as well. The only problem we have is how busy it is on the towpath. Yeah, the towpath's very busy. Yeah. I know it is a Saturday. And it's sunny, yeah. really nice. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Mm. If it was peeing down with rain, there probably wouldn't be that many people. No. Here it's quite quiet, oh, isn't it? That's, that's one of the main things we like. It's just a quiet towpath. What is that bird up there, Dad? Big? It's a prey, bird of prey. Really... Look how big that is. Oh, that is big. Sorry, guys. That's can't a herring. Oh, herring. Can't, oh, it's a herring. Yeah. Oh. oh, I can't show you. He's just, they are big. Oh, Oh, there he is, flying across Nearly the canal. Foot there, big herons. That's why it looks so big. Oh, they're lovely herons. Lovely but, herons. Oh, it's a beautiful spot. Got alone, a heron tonight, isn't you? We're alone. Kids on the lock landing, so we couldn't. Yeah, land we them couldn't. Um, but they were all right. They, they were nice lads. So they catch us. They caught a couple. They of caught a couple. Mm. And there was a lovely little family on the in the lock. pub. Yeah, navigation. navigation in. So busy it is there. Yeah, a, um, a really nice dinner there, isn't it? Navigation in. That's what mm. someone said. Yeah. Right? Me and Mum and Dad did something a bit. Pretty, oh God, I can't even speak. <laughs> Me and Mum did something a bit stupid. We both crossed the road, and it's a very busy road, and people were revving, doing wheelies. And, <laughs> um, but when you could just go underneath the bridge. Yeah, there's yeah. a little, little walkway underneath the bridge, so you don't have well, to. Which, but we met bare necessities, didn't we? We'd all seen that. We'd already seen that. Yeah. And look back. But yeah. You were chatting to someone, wasn't it? And then you completely lost what you were doing. Yeah. And hi, subscribers. We hi, pa hi, Pauline and Chris. We met oh, Nant. Hi, Pauline. Yeah. We met Nant. Bare necessities. Yeah. Their boat's called Bare Necessities. Mm, they're we're just down there, I think. Boat, yeah. no, no, it's just a bit further lot. down. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, see, see you later. later. Bye. Bye.